What size would you recommend? Because I really want to talk right there. I'm calling security. No, 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 Oh, that went well. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Neither of us want to stand up in a Brazilian jail. You go! I want to see who Cutter's hiding now. No, what are you doing? Breaking down the door. Rex, no. Rex, Aubrey, what are you guys doing here? Finally getting some answers. You can't fire a bow. I just did. On what grounds? I don't need grounds. I'm the mayor. The police commissioner serves at the mayor's discretion. Yeah, but what about your constituents? You know, they're not going to be very happy to hear this. You know, I actually promised my constituents that if I was re-elected, I would hold this department to greater scrutiny. He's the best thing that ever happened to the LPD. You, that's all you need to know. Really? Well, what about who killed Victor Lord Jr.? Listen, I was more than willing to entertain the idea of our offices continuing to have this partnership, provided that your husband secured an arrest by the time that I was re-elected. Now, that didn't happen. Well, you know what? An investigation, a proper investigation, takes time. It can't be goosed along by political pressure. I agree. There should be more investigating going on here and less goosing. I mean, what are you even investigating here? Case of a missing heart attack? You know, <clears throat> firing me won't solve anything, Kathleen. Least of all, this investigation. Okay, Bo. You can keep your job. You just have to make an arrest. You got a suspect? Baker. None other. The two are working together. Okay, we have an arrangement. At least until Todd wears out his usefulness, right? I mean, after all, you were Iron Man's Man's right hand. She wanted you to drug Todd, interrogate him, torture him. You were happy to comply, right? Maybe you didn't kill him before, but you won't miss next time, will you? There won't be a next time. How can you be so sure? Because Baker's not going to bite the hand that feeds him. We have a little project plan. One that's going to need a steady flow of cash. Which Mr. Manning is more than happy to provide in exchange for my custodial services. So that's your plan. You don't want to kill me, but you're going to hand me to Baker. The same difference, Manny. Drop the gun and come quietly. I don't drop him, and I'll drop you. That's almost. Think of Blair. Now, Taya, I have no idea what you meant by that last oh, little comment. Oh, give Eric? me a what? break. Tomas admitted as much when I told him that I'd noticed his bed hadn't been slept in last night. Well, what did he say exactly? Uh, only what was fit for a sister's ears. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so you two had some sort of a breakthrough and you're finally to together? Yeah. Yeah. He has been very, very patient, and uh, um, I had a lot of things I needed to sort out. And you're done sorting them out? Yes. And we made it official, and I couldn't be happier. Hmm. I wish I could say the same. You don't need to worry, okay? Baker's not going to kill you. Not now, not anytime soon. Isn't that right, Baker? Mr. Delgado noted previously. I am more than happy to comply. You of all people, Todd, should know that Baker is capable of putting a bullet in anyone's bag at any time. Especially mine if I try my weapon. Tomas, he's had a beat on you since you showed up here. If I wanted more blood on my hands, there'd be blood everywhere. Come on. We're asking nicely. Give me the gun. Shall we proceed? <laughs> 